Welcome to another free tip of the day brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a combo box to set the default value for a bunch of new records that you'll be typing in in a continuous form. This question comes to me from Alex. Alex says he's got a bunch of students for a school, and he has to type them all in or copy them from a spreadsheet. But as he's doing that, he wants to automatically assign them to a teacher instead of having to pick a teacher for each student as he types it in. So what we're going to do is set up a form where you can pick the teacher up here, and then as you type in the students, it automatically grabs that value. See? Okay, that's what we're going to do in this lesson. In my database, I have a teacher table. It has the teacher ID, which is simply an auto number, and the teacher's name, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Jones, and so on. Pretty simple. I've got a student table where I've got the student ID. That's the auto number. I've got a teacher ID, which I haven't filled in yet. That'll be my foreign key, which will relate back to the teacher table. And then the student's name. And we can assume other information like address and phone number and whatever other information you need to track your students. The point of this lesson is I have to go through and assign each one of these students a teacher. Well, I can do that with a continuous form, right? So let's go to Create. I'll go over here to More Forms and pick Multiple Items. That's also called a continuous form. That's what Access provides for me. Now, I personally can't stand this layout, so I'm going to fix it a little bit. I'm going to switch over to Design View. I'm going to get rid of this stuff up here. don't really care for that much. Leave some space up here because I'm going to show you a trick in a minute. Format this, make it a little darker so I can actually read it. I'm going to turn the layout off. I don't like this layout. Highlight, right click, come down to layout, and then remove layout. I like to be able to move the objects around by myself without access telling me what needs to be where, just like so. Make these a little smaller like that. And there we go. Now, save that. This will be my student form. Let's take a look at what we got. I'll switch back over to form view. There we go. Looks good. Now I'm going to change this into a combo box so I can pick from a list of teachers. So once more, back to design view. I'm going to delete the teacher ID field. Come up here to my design and go to, where's the combo box? It's hiding on me. There it is. Drop that right there. The wizard starts up. All right. I want to find values from another table or query. Yep. I want to pull values from my teacher table, bring them both over, got to have that ID first, next, sort them by, let's go teacher name, next, that's what it's going to look like, and of course, yeah, I'd normally do it with, you know, Gordon, comma, whatever his first name is, but this is just a sample. Store that value in my teacher ID field. All right, what label would you like for the combo box? Well, I'm going to delete it in a minute anyway, so I'm not even worried about it. All right, there's that label that comes in. Just hit delete. Goodbye. All right, so there's my teacher ID. We'll slide it right in there. Resize it like the rest of them. Grab the bottom, slide it up. Save that. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to close it and reopen it again. Okay, now I can quickly assign a teacher to each one of these students. See that? Good to go. Now, what if... I want to add a bunch of students, but I don't want to manually pick this. Let's say you got a big school. you got 500 teachers. All right, It'd be nice to be able to just put the teacher up here in a combo box and then have new records that come in automatically assign to that teacher. Well, we can do that like this. Watch this. Take this combo box here, copy it, and paste it up into the, the header. All right, just like that. Now, open up the properties for this box. I'm going to slide this over here so it's not docked. It's called Combo 26 right now. Let's call this Default Teacher Combo. Default Teacher Combo. Now the control source is what field it's bound to, but I don't want it bound to a field, so delete the control source. That way it's just got a value and it's just sitting there. All right, It's not actually saving anything to the table. But down here, this Combo 24, which we can rename this if you want to as well. This is the actual teacher, whoop, teacher combo. That's okay. All right, we want to set that guy's default value equal to whatever this guy is, the default teacher combo. I'm going to copy that, so I don't have to type it again. Copy, Control-C. Switch over here, go to the Data tab, 
Okay. Find the default value and put equals and then default teacher combo, just like that. Older versions of Access, make sure you put that inside of square brackets, but you don't have to worry about that in Access 2010. All right, that means give me the value of the control default teacher combo. All right, close that, save your form, and reopen it. Okay, now, as I add new records down here, it should get whatever values in this combo box. I'm going to change the value in the combo box to Mr. Jones. Come down here and start putting a student in. Oh, look at that. As soon as I typed in Zach, it's got Mr. Jones. Tab. Zach um, Smith. Tab. All right. Now, with a little tab order adjustment here, design, all right, we're going to go to tab order. I'm going to hit the auto order button on the bottom, so they're ordered like that. And I'm going to take these two fields out of the tab order. Watch this. I'm going to select them both, right-click, go to Properties, find the Tab Stop property. I can never remember where it is. I just go to All over here. Actually, it's on the Other tab right here. You can find it under All as well, but it's on the Other tab. Set the Tab Stop to No. Maybe even make those uh, gray so they look like you shouldn't be typing data into them like that. All right. Save your form. Close it. Open it back up again. Now put a value in up here like Miss Gordon. And as soon as you type in another record down here, right, there's Amy Smith, see, Sue Jones, all right, Bill Peters. All right, now, you want to change the next teacher? Well, I'll just come in here and put Mrs. Williams. Now, this one's already got a value. It already says Miss Gordon, so you have to change it down here as well. But for the next one after that, right, Bill Williams, and so on. So that's how you can use the default property in a combo box to grab the value for the next field. Now this also works even if you want to copy and paste stuff. If you have data in an Excel spreadsheet, you can copy and paste it into here, and this should grab the default value up from up top there. Just make sure that you match up your columns in your spreadsheet with the fields here in your database. And of course, you can set multiple values too. right? You can have a, a homeroom number here, you know, uh, whatever other information you need about this, this particular teacher or class, and all of those fields will fill in down below here. This is much easier if you're doing it up front, because then you don't have to actually make any programming or macros to change data that's already in the tables. And uh, if anyone wants to see that, let me know, and maybe I'll put together a quick tutorial on how to do that. But this will show you how to do it for new records. I hope you've enjoyed this free tip of the day brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I cover lots more like this in my full lessons. You can find them all on my website. I cover combo boxes and default values and getting values across fields. There's lots of free tips available in my tips section as well, so make sure you stop by and check it out, AccessLearningZone.com.